Greetings explorers and welcome to this book review on Advanced Lucid Dream Supplements, uh, The Power of Supplements actually, by Thomas Yusak. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, um, you can see it in the title. Very interesting. Now, uh, if some of you out there have understood about galantamine, uh, mugwort, uh, blue lotus, uh, these are herbs, uh, melatonin, um, serotonin, if any of these words or things uh, activate memories of knowledge of, of supplementation in lucid dreaming, then great. This is a very advanced book. Um, I'm glad I read it. He states in the beginning um, that it's very important to learn about basic lucid dreaming before you even read this because you don't understand. He covers about uh, REM cycles, which is rapid eye movement, uh, sleep cycles, uh, sleep, etc and when to take certain supplements. He also mentions about nicotine, which I haven't tried. I have done many years ago, but more so nicotine patches. Um, there's an also a number of, of um, supplements that he does recommend, which is more herb-based. Um, so, such as yo yohimbine, uh, also 5-HTP, which is 5-hydroxytryptophan, uh, melatonin, um, choline, uh, galantamine, these are a number of supplements that you recommend. Really good book to read actually. Um, so there is uh, supplements that I have purchased um, a while back because I wanted to experiment with galantamine again. Now galantamine, it probably sounds a bit crazy, but I'm, I'm a person that likes to experiment on myself and not recommend to other people, but feel free to, to try. Now galantamine is an Alzheimer's um, medicine drug as you call it it helps to increase more blood flow to the brain i guess to have better memory and help uh, alzheimer patients to gain more memory and remembrance i guess in their day-to-day -day lives so um, in the book uh, he talks about when to take these supplements now what i know about 5-htp which is um, five excuse me five uh, hydroxytryptophan 5-HTP, which is 5-hydroxytryptophan. Uh, like serotonin, basically. So uh, you take this uh, supplement before you go to bed. Um, you take it just before you go to bed. And then what that does, it suppresses the dream state. So all the dream experiences, it's just squashed and compressed. And then when you take the galantamine, for example, then it just expands all those experiences really, really fast. Now you can also take um, something another supplement which is very similar effects to it uh, called hyperzine A and that is from a plant um, I can't remember the name of it actually I think it might be Mucuna prunus um, but anyway it's, uh, it has the same qualities which galantamine does very interesting um, and you also use a APC I've got the name of it it's, it's another mind enhancing um, supplement that you can use to help with cognitive functions and basically you take those two uh, supplements um, as soon as you wake up after like four or five sleep uh, four or five hours of sleep and you you have these experiences and I, I've tried this recently and very good I'm just trying to remember the name of of these things in here and I probably can't find them now I'm not a great uh, reviewer am I but um, in the in the book he talks about all different types of supplements so if it's something that you want to expand your knowledge or experience on you know he talks about out body experiences too not just lucid dreaming but i suggest that if you are interested in expanding your awareness and experiences then then try supplementation because once you've used it then you don't need to use it after a while there are things that i won't take and i have taken before main concern is things like melatonin now Serotonin is, is produced in the daytime through the presence of light and you know we need it in our day through sunrise and in the day and natural light helps us to be, be more awake and you, melatonin is the neurotransmitter that is released in the presence of darkness um, and it's converted from serotonin so we need melatonin to help us sleep and we need serotonin to help us feel good it releases healthy hormones in our body and releases these good chemicals in our brain to help us function and, and live properly and be happy and not depressed. 
So we need serotonin and melatonin. You can take melatonin supplements, but I do not recommend it because if you take them after a long, short, you know, long while or however long, if you re if you rely on melatonin supplements, then your body will stop potentially producing melatonin. So I don't recommend doing that. I recommend taking um, herbal supplements, even if it's. In a, in a tablet form that is an extract of that, then, then fine. So I've used things like Blue Lotus, which is a lotus, blue, blue lotus, and it's supposed to help with a lot more dream clarity. There is also a Mexican dream herb, which I've had before, completely bitter, really horrible. I don't recommend drinking it as a tea. It's most likely better to smoke it. I, I do have a bong for that reason, um, not for anything else, because the, uh, the taste of it is just so horrible and bitter. Um, but smoking it is, is good. Put a little bit of mugwort in there. You can also vape it too, but vaping can take, take a while. So yeah, I've done this because I want to experiment with myself and see what results I get. And there is some clarity, um, but be careful with Mexican Dream Herb. I can't remember the name of it. It begins with C, a um, bit complex. Um, it can show up on drug tests. So if you work in a certain place that you, you're, you know, if you're tested for for certain supplements, then it, it could um, spike. But also like everything, this isn't telling you to take stuff. Do go to your doctor first of all and make sure this doesn't interfere with any other medications or anything else that you're on. And do start with small amounts first. Don't start with a load amount thinking, I'm gonna take the biggest amount and I'm gonna pop and have an experience. Um, yeah, because you don't know the effects. There are things that we are uh, as humans allergic to so I don't want you to watch this video and then take something and then have bad effects from it this is all down to your own personal journeying and the same with me I've been cautious and taken small amounts and then seen what it does and you know not everything will work for everybody some supplements just won't work for anybody else most likely other supplements will we all have different body makeup you know the chemical processes within our body and our brain produce a range of different things so um yeah you know be be sensible okay the nicotine patches are not interested in that because supposedly it can make you feel a bit sick I suppose as uh, as thomas says um i'm not interested in purchasing nicotine why I'd, maybe i might try it one day but i don't feel drawn to it same as melatonin i've tried it before in the past when i was learning a lot about sleep i spent i've spent the last four years learning about sleep and everything you can learn about it and yeah melatonin is a, is a no I don't want to rely on that I don't really want to rely on supplements but I want to try them to then able me to remember how to get to places because once you've taken something then you can remember it's like plant medicines you know I'm not into plant medicines at all anymore I was many years ago I think they're a great to experience, they're great teachers, but I don't think it's for the long term. I think it's important for people to experience something a little bit, to understand what happens in the feelings, but you can access that again. So for example, took LSD many, many years ago, um, which is you know an extract from magic mushrooms. Yeah, powerful experience, beautiful in many ways, but I learned to use it in my own way and now I haven't touched it for many, many, many years and I'm not interested. Same as DMT, first time I had it, I you know, had an out of body experience like in my body, it was very odd, didn't like it. Um, DMT is dimethyltryptamine, it's a chemical compound um, hormone released in your brain just before you die to project out your body. Suppose it's produced from the pineal gland. You can also find it in nature and in certain plants. So um, yeah, that one is a very powerful um, um, ingredient. One of the big, big ingredients used in ayahuasca too, which I'm not interested in at all. It's nice to hear about these experiences, but working with light machines, we can now recreate those experiences without taking any supplements at all. So that's what I'm more focused on is using light uh, flashes, strobing, stroboscopic light machines, light machines to produce these psychedelic visual effects and feelings within the body without having to take any supplements. Um, so yeah, as a master of light and, light and darkness, um, supplementation does help and eating the right diet does help too, which uh, I can't remember if, um, if Thomas talks about in his book here. 
but he talks about all sorts of different things. There are certain things that you can't buy, like Yo Him Bean, um, and I'm able to purchase that online because it's stuff that's sort of banned in this uh, country, um, in, in the UK. Nicotine, um, oh yes, that's it, GPC, um, which is a cognitive um, supplement, which um, I found to be quite, quite good. It uses um, levels of choline, um, choline, however you want to pronounce it, um, choline salts, so GPC, um, it's a choline supplementation, and he does talk about, I'm trying to find that hyperzine, um, I can't find it, I'll have to write it down in the description here, but it's, it's a herb that is very similar results to uh, galantamine and uh, galantamine is a is a big favorite in um, lucid dreaming um, for people oh here we go that's it so it's um, it's a chem it's a neuro neurotransmitter he talks a lot about neuro neurotransmitters echocholine which is basically um, something that's found very uh, strongly in galantamine and you can take this uh, uh, herb which is from hyperzine um, again, I should have wrote, written notes before I did this video, but yeah, really good book. How I found this is because I was doing research on galantamine um, about a month ago, and I typed it in uh, Amazon to try and find, you know, an alternative, and this book came recommended. So yeah, very good. So I'll read the back. This breakthrough book tells you everything you need to know about how to start experiencing extremely advanced lucid dreams and OBEs using the lucid dream supplement induction technique. This is the first comprehensive guide that explains how to use natural, non-prescription and healthy supplements to induce some of the most profound experiences that humans can achieve. Simply most effective approach to inducing lucid dreams and out-of-body experiences. I don't really need extra help because I get a handful of dreams per night between 10 and 20 dreams on, on average. So um, it's nice to expand my knowledge on what's out there with this book. Um, I did actually book note some parts in here, so excuse me. Uh, maintain high quality balanced sleep, which is important. There's the other book note I have done on here. I can't remember. I put a few, a few notes in here and I can't remember why. But yeah, very good. Um, he talks about wilds and wake back to beg um, method, um, which is very, very powerful method technique for inducing lucid dreams. So if you want to try, have four or five hours of sleep, set your alarm, get up, don't get straight back to bed. Like I find having a, a banana or an apple or an oat bar, going for a walk outside, especially at this time of year in the summer is a bit, bit nice. Um, or reading a page or two on a, on a lucid dreaming or our, our body experience book or watching a video about, about something, just wake you up but not do something that's gonna have a big activity in your body. Then go back to sleep and you're most likely gonna have an experience rather than going to sleep and then being asleep all night. You wanna break that peak, that sweet spot to be able to ignite those memories and to come back with with a pleasant memory, basically. Um, and for those of you watching who have probably nightmares and night terrors and bad experiences during the night, you can flip that and use these experiences to confront your fears and to gain more spiritual experience and to be a better version of yourself always. So I hope that's helped. A little bit of a book review there. Um, there are lots of graphs and everything. Maybe I should read you, read you a little bit of a page so you can understand the, the concept of the book. I have highlighted some things in here. So page 120, um, I've highlighted somehow with a book marker. I can't remember why, but let's, let's read this, um, this page. So maintain high quality and balanced sleep. Sleep is too often an afterthought in our lives, yet is yet it has a profound effect on our quality of life. I am a father, a husband, a full-time employee, a writer, a homeowner, a lucid dreamer, and much more. At times, trying to manage everything seems both impossible and impractical. 
Even with a busy schedule, however, I do not sacrifice my sleep, nor do I sleep my life away. I strive for seven to eight hours of sleep at least five nights a week, and I try to never drop below six hours. More sleep isn't needed, but less sleep is detrimental to our physical, mental, and emotional health. For healthy dreaming, you need seven to eight hours of sleep per night. This will not only improve your state of mind, but also greatly improve your odds of becoming lucid. Achieving frequent high level lucid dreams would demand some shifts in the way you sleep. And he talks about here are five simple rules that are proven to work extremely well. Um, always sleep four to five hours before attempting a lucid dream. Do not attempt lucid dreams on nights that you feel physically, mentally, or emotionally exhausted. Very exhausted, very important. And if attempting three or more nights of lucid dream per week actively suppresses REM sleep in the hours before each attempt. Um, yeah, so he goes on talking a lot more. And I'll read you one more page before I close this uh, video. Um, patience. So this is page 164. The method that I have described definitely requires patience. Always remain calm and relaxed. Don't allow yourself to get anxious, even if you have been lying awake far too long. Just relax, the dreams will come. As soon as your patience wears thin, you will undoubtedly start talking to yourself and complaining. This will further reduce your chances of success. Just lie there and relax and the dreams will come. So he talks about when to take supplements, when's the peak times, and also he talks about some lucid dreaming techniques and other things. So. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful in some way. If you enjoyed listening, uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening.